Now, as far as the 2,500 years ago Buddhism was concerned, it was saying that you know, the biggest problem here is like the craving. Sure that, yeah, we, you know, we want to sort of try and do something with global warming, we want to have peace on earth, we want to have couples being able to live happily together, we want to have people sharing the resources of our planet, but something called craving gets in the way. And this is our problem. However, that craving doesn't mean no desires. This is going to be maybe the central point of this talk today. It's as if the desire is okay, but we're desiring the wrong things in life. You know, we're desiring the material things rather than the spiritual things. We're measuring people by possessions rather than by you know, qualities such as compassion and virtue and peace. And we're actually having goals in our life, you know, which <coughs> allow us to pay off our mortgages, but we'll never have enough time for ourselves and our loved ones. So, the heart of this talk today is, well, we have to have desires, that's part of being a human being, it's part of having a mind, and some of those desires are very worthwhile, but what type of desires do we have in our life? And being a monk, I'm in a privileged position simply because that, you know, you do uh, have acquaintances across the spectrum, you know, from very poor people to very wealthy people, from presidents to prisoners, from multi-millionaires to people on the dole. And when you actually meet all these types of people, you know, you can actually see that it's not really the economic circumstances which determines their happiness. This was one of the first insights I got when I was you know, a relatively wealthy Westerner. And I say this even though I was a student with you know, very little money and uh, holes in my jeans. I had holes in my jeans because I couldn't afford better ones, not because it was a fashion statement. I was ahead of my time because these days people buy jeans straight from the shop with pre-made holes. But mine were real. <laughs> 